I used to just let my energy leak out everywhere because I would feel like I would have to constantly reply back right away. I would seek external validation from people, from likes and comments and engagement. And then I realized that's not how I want to genuinely connect. Hi loves. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. I'm Ro and I love to share ways to connect, create, and heal. And that's why today we're talking about how to create genuine connections on social media. I've been talking to quite a few people on Instagram and getting feedback from people and, and people feel like they aren't connected with people on social media genuinely sometimes they do sometimes they don't it depends um definitely have had people who feel disconnected on social media i've definitely experienced being disconnected and feeling disconnected on social media even though there have been thousands of people that i've been fortunate to be a part of their journey um but yeah there's there's just so many different things that can affect a person and um play a part in why we don't feel genuinely connected on social media. Specifically, this one I want to talk about Instagram because that's my jam. I love Instagram and I love the gram since I've been on there for 10 years. And when it comes to creating genuine connections on social media, first and foremost is asking yourself why. <laughs> Like whenever I feel like I was so lonely and disconnected on Instagram and felt like people wouldn't really care about what I posted or people really didn't care about, you know, just being on Instagram in general and, and just having these thoughts run through my head, like why, why? I would ask myself why I felt so disconnected. And to the root of it, it's because I wasn't being intentional of why I was on Instagram. Social media has been a way for me to experience both sides of feeling lost and disconnected, but also feeling really genuinely connected with people, especially if they're not in my city. And I know that some people feel like they aren't really able to connect with people because they're not in person, like they don't see each other and can't like physically hug each other and like talk to each other. And I can understand why, because that's really where that energy exchange can happen presently. Um, and when it comes to being on social media, it's just also remembering that we have a choice on who we connect with, who we interact with. And I used to just let my energy leak out everywhere because I would feel like I would have to constantly reply back right away. I would seek external validation from people, from likes and comments and engagement. And then I realized that's not how I want to genuinely connect. When it comes to finding these genuine connections, it all comes down to also presence and recognizing when people are genuinely being present with you, understanding you, seeing you, hearing you. And how to do that? I have learned that one, responding and typing back what people have said um, and just being that echo and that soundboard and really letting myself not give <laughs> unsolicited advice. That's, that's definitely something I've done before. And holding that space to listen and on Instagram and on social media in general, it's a place where people can create. It's a place where people can share whatever they want freely, authentically, loudly, <laughs> artistically. And that's why I love Instagram. It's just so visual. And so taking those moments to be present and really setting that intention to foster those genuine connections. When it comes to social media, just again, remembering that we have a choice and what we choose and who we choose to interact with on these platforms, whether it's Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, whatever it is, remembering to be present and 
I had a conversation once with a friend about how, you know, it's hard to be present on social media and that it's a distraction. And I've been there, like, I've definitely told myself, like, social media has distracted me and it gets cut off. I have my days where I do 24 hour dopamine detoxes and I'm not on social media for 24 hours. But for me, like, when I get off of social media, it's not the intention to get away from a distraction. It's for me to shift my perspective to get back to myself. And I have come to a place now in my life where instead of having this love-hate relationship with social media and the people I connect with on social media and feeling disconnected, I had to shift my mindset into being present and being more intentional and also telling myself that I can be on the social media and be present at the same time. It's finding that balance between those two and understanding that when we can practice and choose to practice being present on social media, it's something that gets easier over time. And there definitely have been moments where I've been unconsciously scrolling on my explore page on social media. I've definitely done that still to this day. But every time you practice being present on social media, it, it becomes easier with every time that you practice. So I hope this helped for you to be able to start building more genuine connections on social media. And whenever you have a question or if you ever have a question, feel free to message me on Instagram if you feel like following me. And um, if you wanna leave a comment below to let me know if any of these tips help you, if any of these um, perspectives help you shift your mindset to seeing social media and creating genuine connections on social media in a different light, let me know. I would love to hear. And I also want to thank each and every person who's been on this journey, liking, subscribing, and also donating and being a beautiful tipper um, on my coffee.com page. Ko-fi co coffee. I really don't know how to say it. Um, but yeah, if you feel compelled and called to help me continue this production and to continue my channel, I would wholeheartedly accept with gratitude any contributions that you feel called to share in the link below. And if there's anything that you are having trouble processing or needing somebody to hold space for to help you process with your connections on social media, I'm open to one-on-one -on -one consulting again. So any info about that is also in the link below. And I'm really just grateful for you to be a part of this journey for the both of us to create, to grow together and to heal together and to connect together through this box <laughs> that you are watching me on right now. And I truly hope that you can feel a genuine connection from me and how much I really want to be of service for you and to help you grow and to help you and support you in whatever you are trying to manifest in your life and what you are manifesting in your life. So if you're somebody who's manifesting genuine connections on social media, I got you. <laughs> Until next time. Bye loves. Every time you scroll and you see someone's post, that's an energy exchange. And if you're constantly going through and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, that's a lot of energy that you're exchanging unconsciously. When I unfollowed everyone, I really put out there that the people that I'm meant to connect with on this platform is who I'm meant to connect with and who I am choosing to connect with.